What's up, boat friends? June 15th, just after 10 p.m. Central Time. This vessel that we're going to see is possibly going to be the largest superstructure that I've recorded. No doubt about it. It's a salty, the Tayaga de Gagne. Aerial lift bridge going up 135 feet. Let me give you a quick preview of what we're going to be seeing. Now here's the vessel. Now take a look at the superstructure. That is no joke. If you watch the Happy River video with that salty, that was that yellow ship that came in and uh, also departed Duluth. This superstructure looks just as large, if not larger. So we're really going to have a fun one with this. So I wanted to start it a little early, this video, just so that way there's kind of a buildup and we can look at this vessel coming around the corner which it's already moving pretty good. Let's see if you can see this in the distance. You see it? Well, why don't we just start out with marine traffic, get you ready to rock. Taiga de Gagne, 3.8 knots going outbound, started over here at Terminal 1. And uh, it's going to be going out empty. It came in from Thunder Bay, originally from Germany, with some parts for wind turbine systems. And it's going out empty, as I mentioned. So this is gonna be a really interesting vessel. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk a little further down here on the South Pier. So that way I have a little more light from the aerial lift bridge and we can actually watch the vessel go under the bridge. I might just hang out right here. 55 degrees, Duluth, Minnesota. Seven mile per hour wind. I always love giving you the evening shot with the hillside. And you will be able to pick up a little bit of haze in the air if you take a look at that light there on the left side. You can see almost looks like three beams. That's it's a byproduct of some of the smoke that's in the air from the Canadian wildfires and we wish all our friends to the north the best of luck. Hopefully everything gets better up there. But this vessel going outbound, this is gonna be a fun one. Look forward to it just because of that superstructure. Now take a look on the left side of your screen, starting to see it moving left to right. I want to make sure I'm able to observe everything going on. So I'm going to give you the facts about this vessel right now. The Taiga de Gagne, 497 feet in length. Registered flag is Barbados. Built in 2007 in China. And the previous name was the BBC Amazon. And that was from 2007 to 2017. It's owned by the de Gagne Group out of Quebec, Canada. Capacity 12,000 tons. Three holds, three hatches. Now these are hydraulic folding type of hatches. It got a single four blade fixed pitch propeller, a single main diesel engine, and three cranes. But I really want you to focus on that superstructure. I'm going to do my best to capture that. And you'll be able to see these three cranes as this vessel gets a little closer to us. And what will happen as it starts getting into adequate lighting, we'll be able to see the color scheme and uh, we're going to check everything out. But before she makes that corner, and uh, by the way, I want to pass along that it is heading to Quebec, Canada. So that is the, the destination right now. Empty. Take a look at the flags on the other side. Pretty light wind. Beautiful evening here in Duluth. Give you a quick swing around. See those pipes now? I'm sure that you'll notice it like I notice it every time. And here's the lift bridge. Now that huge, this huge thing right here, this is the counterweight. So this is a huge, huge weight. And you see those chains? There's like a big chain, a bike chain below. That goes all the way up. So when the bridge goes all the, all the way up, which it is 135 feet, that counterweight comes down and vice versa. Now, I don't know if we're going to get a salute 
between the lift bridge operator and the captain of the Taiga. Take a look at the communication towers. This is the underneath portion of the bridge. We're going to stick it out right here and check this out. But I definitely wanted to start the video out by showing you that superstructure and what's coming because especially in the evening when it's dark like this you can't really tell that we're going to see something possibly special here and uh you know i do realize that a lot of people that live in some of these ocean going vessel ports they see these type of vessels all the time but for us here the furthest part inland on the great lakes here in duluth minnesota it's a treat to see them you know we call them salties and the salty just means that it's an ocean going vessel that makes its way through the Great Lakes to destinations like Duluth, Minnesota. But I'm a big fan of the superstructures, especially after seeing that yellow ship, the Happy River, one of the big lift vessels. I mean, that was so cool. One of my favorites for sure. I mean, is it might be a combination of just a bright yellow vessel with big cranes. And I mean, there's a lot to mention there, but this, this is a good one too. So... As you can see, lighting seems pretty decent right now as it gets closer. Calm conditions, take a look at the canal. Nothing for the captain to worry about. Let me give you an update on speed with marine traffic. Four knots right on the button. And as I mentioned, the vessel came inbound with wind turbine equipment, leaving empty. If you caught the live stream that I did earlier today, we did get a sneak preview of this vessel. And I'm just uh, happy to be able to catch it. A decent hour. I mean, if it started getting closer to midnight, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that. I got things to do, so... Around the 10.30 hour, that's, uh, that's doable. Now we're able to see some more lights on the vessel. I'll be able to find that sweet spot with the lighting as it gets closer. But look at that superstructure. And you can already see that's, that's legit. That's like having a, a huge apartment building right on the, the stern of that vessel. And I can hear the rumbling of this diesel engine. No doubt about it, just from my position right here, I'm not sure if you can pick that up on camera, but that bow is way up there out of the water. And we'll count together the levels of this superstructure, but I'm looking here on a, a photo. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it looks like six levels. So, I mean, you're talking about uh, something pretty legit here. And actually come a little this way. I just think the more light that I have in the shot, especially at night, got to make sure that get some good light for you. Give you that Duluth hillside as well. Massive vessel. I know that we're used to seeing those thousand footers, but 497 feet in length. Not too shabby, but I think that this is more of a vertical situation, without a doubt. Take a look at these cranes that are on the deck. Superstructure is definitely starting to light up for us. Just allowing us to observe it. You can see the name of the vessel right there on the side of the bow. Yellow cranes. 
And now you can count those levels on the superstructure. See if we can zoom in on that fly bridge. I'm going to try to get this set where the light is the best. So it looks like we're good right there. Take a look at that massive bow. Take a look at those cranes. Legit. You can see the black, the red. Going under the area lift bridge. Uh, here's that superstructure. That's uh, truly the star of the show. Large, large superstructure. Look at that. You can see the equipment there on the fly bridge at the very top of that superstructure. I'm looking for individuals walking around, trying to look on that deck. You can see a couple lights on in the windows there. I'm telling you, fantastic looking vessel in person. Take a look at the clearance there from the bridge and the superstructure. Now let's look at the back side. Here's the stern. You can see that lifeboat that's propped down. Large staircase spread on both sides. Well, what do you think, boat friends? I mean, that's it's it's fun to have the contrast where we see the Great Lakes vessels and then a salty like this. See an individual that was walking right there in that bottom section. But there it goes. On its way to Quebec, we were able to capture it. Legit, legit superstructure. That was a fun one. And we wish the captain and the crew a safe voyage. Already looking forward to this vessel coming back. Well, there you go, boat friends. Another one in the book. I always appreciate you checking out the videos. I'll be out here with the next vessel. If you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.